Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you complete analysis and designing of G plus 3 plus P building, which is nothing but the ground story plus 3 story plus a penthouse building by using StatPro V8A software. So initially, I will show you the uh, typical floor plan for the G plus 3 plus P building. So now we can see this is the building model, which is related to uh, G plus uh, P plus uh, 3 building structural model. So this is my ground floor building model. Then this is my typical floor plan for the rest of the three stories. Again, in the same process, I am considering the same 1 BHK portion in the top story level. Okay, G plus 3 plus uh, penthouse, which is nothing but the five story building structural model. So here in this case, I am not assuming the lift provision per, as well as this extra column, which is provided here in this building. Only I am considering the 12 columns for the building structural model for simple understanding. Why? Because we have to consider the lift loading condition system. Again, we have to consider the extra column condition loading condition system for the general projects. But uh, for simple understanding, just I am skipping this uh, extra column as well as the lift provision for this building structural model. Okay. So now we can see it will be consisting of 3 plus 4 which is of uh, 7 meter in length direction. And again, it will be consisting of 4 plus 4 plus 3 which is equals to 12 meter in width direction condition system and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel till now please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics related to structural engineering architectural engineering as well as the general topics on civil engineering okay. and please follow my website civilbasics123.com for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts okay so let's start our video just i'm selecting my start pro software before that we have to create one folder just i'm creating here which is related to g plus 3 plus p so here i'm selecting start pro v8 software here click on the new project option select the spacing option give the structure name just i'm selecting here as g plus 3 plus p so select your location of the folder so here i'm selecting my folder is g plus 3 plus p Select the length units will be in meter as well as the force units will be in kilonewton. Click on next option, click on finish option. Now the software will be open here like this. Initially, we have to click on the front view, go to geometry option. In this, we have to select the structure wizard option on the last. So, from the structure wizard option, we have to select the frame models option. Now, we have to select the B frame option. Initially, we need to assume the length of the building. As per our consideration, we are taking the length of the building is 7 meter. And number of base which is consisting of two numbers in length direction condition system again height of the building so here i am selecting five story building five into three which is equals to 15 meter for the building structural model so width of the building just i am assuming here as 12 numbers again i am selecting five number of the base in height direction and width direction it will be consisting of three numbers here okay so click on the apply option now we can see it will be consisting of the typical floor plan or uh, typical building model structural model here like this we have to cancel this option, click on S option for importing the model from structure wizard option to start pro VA software. Now we have to click on the 3D view option. So now we can see this is a 3D view for the building structural model. Now we have to delete all the unwanted beams and columns at the top story level. So for that we have to click on this 3D view only. So we have to select the beams and columns which is available at the top story. But if you want to delete that particular beam structure, we need to only visible the top story only. For that, just I am selecting the top story here like this. Go to cut section command here. Click on select to view option. Click on the selected to highlighted view highlighted only. Click on OK. So that it will visible to your uh, options which is related to top story only. Now we have to select the top view. Just I am selecting this all the beams and columns. Click on delete option. Click on S option. So that it will delete all the members at the top story. After this, we have to click on the host toucher command here. Now we can see this is the building model structure which is related to ground story, first story, second story, third story as well as the penthouse structure. Okay. So now we have to add the slab section for this building structural model. For that select the front view, click on the cut section command, click on select to view option, click on OK. So here I am cutting this particular portion. Now we have to add the slab section for this particular building. For that go to select your four, add four node plate option. Just I am selecting first node point, second node point, third node point. Again, I am coming to the fourth node point. In the same process, we have to add the four node plates for uh, remaining slab section. Now, we have to copy this uh, four node plates to the Z direction condition, which is exist in this direction. For that, we have to select the plate cursor. Select these two plates. Go to transitional repeat, which is exist in Z direction, which is consisting of two numbers. Each will be consisting of four meter here. Click on OK. Now, we can see it will copy your properties here like this. Click on the whole structure command again. 
again we have to select the plate cursor we have to select all the plates at this level for this ground story we have to copy these plates to remaining three stories for that go to transitional repeat which is related to y direction condition which is related to three numbers here each will be consisting of let us consider three meter height here click on ok so now we can see it will copy your properties here like this so now we have to create the two uh, number of the plates at this top level also go to click on four node plate option select the first node point second node point third node point fourth node point again in the same process we have to add the node plate like this okay so otherwise you can directly copy these plates to y, di uh, y direction distance of 3 meter so now we have to add the properties for the building structural model which is related to beams and column sizes go to click on general option for that click on define option so select the rectangular portion just i'm selecting the beam size which is consisting of 0 0.3 cross 0 0.5 meter just i'm assuming here click on add button again in the same process just i'm adding the column size which is related to 0 0.5 meter cross 0 0.5 meter click on add button so click on close option now we have to add the thickness click on the thickness option for plate thickness which is related to slab thickness click on add it here close option now select the beam size go to select option we have to assign these properties to beam sections only go to select beams parallel to x condition system again go to select beams parallel to z condition system click on assign to selected beams option assign option yes option in the same process we have to select the columns go to select option beams parallel to y direction condition assign to selected beams option assign option here click on s option now i'm selecting plate thickness by using assign to view option we have to assign this property to the plates here now we have to add the support conditions for that select the support condition click on the create option add your fixed support select the front view option we have to select all the node points at the base so before that we have to select the support to here we have to select all the node points click on assign to selected nodes option assign option yes option now we have to apply the load cases for the building structural model so for this building structural model i am considering only the load case which is related to gravitational loading condition which are comes under in gravitational direction only so for that just i am selecting load case details option click on add button just i am selecting the load which is related to dead load condition give the title as dl condition system again i am selecting the live loading condition system just i am giving the title as ll add option so we have to close this option Firstly, we will add the load cases which is comes under this dead load condition system. For that, initially I am selecting the dead load. Click on add button. Initially, I am adding the self height condition system which is exist in uh, y direction with a factor of minus 1. Again, after this, we have to add the wall loading condition system which is related to external wall loading condition systems as well as the internal wall loading condition system as well as the parapet wall loading condition systems. So, initially we need to calculate the intensities of the wall loading condition. So, basically we will take the external walls which is related to uh, 0.23 thickness only so for that just we have to calculate the wall load 0.23 we have to multiply this respected value with the unit weight of the brickwork just i am considering here as 20 if i multiply this respected value with the height of the brickwork uh, so that it can get the value is approximately 13.8 kN per meter this respected intensity is only applicable for external wall loading condition system Again in the same process we have to calculate the internal wall loading condition by considering the internal thickness as 125 mm. If I multiply this respected value with uh, 3 meter height each wall height and we have to multiply this respected value with unit weight of the brickwork so that it can get the value 7.5 kN per meter intensity. Again in the same process we have to calculate the uh, parapet wall loading condition which is related to 0 0.125 thickness if I multiply this respected value with 20 again if i multiply this respected value with 1.2 so that it can get the values 3 kN per meter now we have to sum these values which is related to 13.8 plus 7.5 external wall internal wall plus parapet wall load which is related to 24.3 kN per intensity which is related to member load which is act for the beams so we have to enter the values minus 24.3 which is acting in gy direction click on add option now we have to add the uh, floor load condition system which is related to marbles and tiles if i consider the thickness of the marble uh, if i consider thickness of the marbles uh, which is related to 50 mm then it will be comes under 0 0.05 is the thickness of that particular member if i multiply the value with 20 so that it can get the value as 1 kN per meter square okay this 20 indicates the unit weight of the motor which is using for the making of the marble okay so 
just i am considering the pressure intensity which is related to minus 1 so now we have to enter the y range which is related to first slab height as well as the last slab height so here as per our uh, structure it will be consisting of the first slab at a distance of 3 meter from the y direction again it will be consisting of the 15 meter from the maximum distance click on apply option click on close option so firstly we will select the cell fit by using assign to view option we have to assign to the all the members so initially we will save this model uh, go to select cell fit assign to view assign option yes option after this we have to apply the uniform load which is related to minus 24.3 kilo newton per meter this intensity is only applicable for the beam sections why because we have to construct the walls on the beams only for that go to select option beams parallel to x condition system we have to select the beams which is parallel to x condition again i am selecting the beams which are parallel to z condition system click on assign to selected beams option assign option yes option here again in the same process we have to select the live load condition system click on add button so here i am assuming the floor load which is related to minus 2 intensity which is acting at a distance of 3 as well as the 15 minimum height as well as the maximum height for the floor okay live load is nothing but the weight of the structure which is related to movable or non-movable objects except the structural elements so now we have to add the load combinations go to select add details go to auto load combination which is related to indian codal provision standard system general structure click on generate option click on add option close option now we have to analyze the structure go to analysis and print add your no print close option again go to analyze option run analysis option save option here now we had to check for the zero errors for the building structural model now we can see here my model is checking for the zero errors if uh, now it was obtained with the zero errors here go to post processing mode option click on done option so that it will display the shear force diagram bending moment diagram deflection diagram for the building so this is the deflection diagram for the building structural model under the considerations of the live load so again in the same process i am selecting the fy value which is related to shear force diagram so this is the shear force diagram for the building in the same process we will select the bending moment diagram which is related to this option here like this again we will see the plate pressure which is related to maximum absolute pressure click on apply option click on ok so that it will display the maximum absolute pressure for the building structural model here like this now we have to design this particular building structural model for that go to click on modeling click on design option click on concrete design firstly we will select the current code is according to is 456 click on select parameters so initially we will select the parameters which is related to compressed strength yield strength yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum main maximum secondary click on ok now we have to select the defined parameters just i am assuming the grade of the concrete is 25000 for this building structural model click on add option again i am selecting fi main which is related to uh, 415 grade just i am assuming basic grade of the steel which is related to 415 grade click on add option section just i am assuming here as again the section of 415300 for the building structural model click on add button again in the same process just i am selecting maximum main which is related to 16 mm diameter bar again i am selecting maximum secondary is 12 mm diameter bar click on add close option now i am selecting the comments option go to click on the design beam command click on add option design column command click on add option slab element command click on add option take off command click on add option close option now we have to select the question marks select fc value by using assign to view we have to assign for all the members here again i am selecting fi main we have to select the assign to view option assign to all again i am selecting fi section reinforcement by using assign to view we have to assign maximum main just i am selecting assign to view assign yes option maximum secondary also just i am assuming here as assign to view assign yes option select the beam go to select option beams parallel to x condition system again i am selecting beams parallel to z condition system here assign to selected beams option assign option yes option again i am selecting design column go to select option beams parallel to y direction condition click on assign to selected beams option assign option yes option again i am selecting design element by using assign to view option we have to assign to the all the structure here like this now we have to analyze and print option here analyze add close go to analyze option run analysis option save here now again we have to check for the zero errors for the design consideration also now we can see it was done with the complete designing section go to post processing mode again click on done option again again we will select the uh, post processing mode uh, we will select the beam cursor so we have to deselect the bending one diagram 
select any one of the beam section section here so that it will show you the complete reinforcement design results which is exist for the beam for the top section it will be consisting of the 7 bars of 10 mm diameter at the top and 4 bars of 10 mm diameter at the bottom which is exist for the beam again in the same process i'm selecting the beam sections like this so that it will show you the complete beam reinforcement design results for the building structural model here like this in the same process i'm selecting the column Just I am selecting this particular column. Now we can see this is the reinforcement which is required for the building structural model here. Again, I am selecting the structure top column section so that it will show you the complete uh, reinforcement design results which is exist for the building structural model here like this. Again, in the same process, we will check the output file which is related to the design section of uh, building structural model. Go to click on the results option. Click on the concrete design so that it will show you the complete reinforcement design results for the beams columns here. Again, it will be consisting of the slab design results for the particular building structure on that last. Okay, so it will be consisting of the plate element results which is related to this maximum and minimum top reinforcement, bottom reinforcement. After this, we have to design the foundation. For that, go to click on the foundation design. Select the load case which is related to dead load, live load. Click on include option. Click on run stand foundation. So the fixer supports which are related to this uh, G, uh, G plus uh, 3 plus P building structural model will be directly imported to Stand Foundation software. Now we can see it was done with complete importing process. So initially we had to de uh, define the load cases, generate load combinations here, select the load as Indian Standard Code Provision Standard System. Click on load combination option. Generate load combination option. Again, in the same process, we have to generate the load combination option for the ultimate load combination also. <coughs> so it will be consisting of the two types of the loads: service load as well as the ultimate load. Now we have to select the job setup. Click on the create job option. We have to give the job name here. This time, selecting the job name is G plus three plus P. So select the isolated footing or other footing depends upon your consideration. So here I am selecting as per my Indian standard code provision, which is related to SS standard. Why? Because in Indian standard system, we will consider only the SS system of the units. So assign to all supports. We have to select the load combinations here, which is related to this combinations of one not one, one not two, two not one, two not two, two not three, two not four, etc. So we have to include this. Click on the create job option, so that the isolated uh, footing job results will be created on the left here like this. You can select this concrete and rebar. If you know the values, you can input this values. Otherwise, directly keep as default values. Based on the default considerations, it will design the foundation. So click on the sliding and overturning. Click on the design option directly. Click on S option so that it will design the foundation according to IS four five six two thousand code provision standard system here like this. You can select any one of the foundation for seeing the results part. So here I am selecting isolated footing number twenty. It will be consisting of complete calculation part, which is related to isolated footing design according to IS four five six two thousand code provision standard system. So it will be consisting of the starting page here drawing, and this is the details and drawing which is comes under this particular building structural model of the footing. Okay, so now we can see this is the footing design results which is exist here. So click on the GR drawing. This is the calculation sheet. Okay. So this is the complete process of designing of basic building structural model, which is of G plus three plus P, uh, G plus three plus P building structural model by using StatPro V8I software. If you have any queries about this video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that I will give you the answers for that questions in my free time. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. Thank you.